going guys B flat in here with another build another guide another tutorial today we're going to be focusing on Amara and this is a kind of like a rendition of the ricochet uh, Amara variant and version so let's get right into it shall we first thing on the list we have a chaos in it's a times two that's radiation with corrosion we're using a amplified OPQ system, 96-94 is max damage, it always rolls in times 2, comes with the 390. A times 2 yellow cake with the 390. And I swap out the last weapon between the Reflux, uh, the Brainstormer, and also the Recursion, which are all in my backpack. Using an old god shield, this one is elemental damage for shock, and it also on action skill end gives me bonus shock damage to all my weapons. You'll see why this is very important in just a second. I'm using a spiritual driver. This one has three to mindfulness, very, very important, and the rolls on it are splash damage radius, which is important for the chaos sin, the OPQ system, and the yellow cake. 35% SMG damage is going straight into your chaos sin so that it can have really good mobbing potential. And the damage reduction is on there because of clarity, helping hands, and uh, other things like sustainment to keep you alive. I'm also using an its piss grenade on action skill end, 50% bonus cryo damage. And finally, a pearl of knowledge. Now the pearl of knowledge is very very good on this build because consecutive hits count for dot damage. Now dot damage is going to be all of your elemental damage that's going to be swinging on enemies along with your weapons. So gaining this to 15 times for the maximum 90% damage is very very easy and it comes very very quickly. As you can see the recurring theme is on action skill end gain bonus elemental damage. So this one is swinging for radiation corrosion. And then on action skill end it also swings for shock damage and cryo damage. So that is four different elements going at once. Same applies for every other weapon here. Corrosion, uh, Brainstormer is shock, I have a uh, recursion that switches between fire and corrosion and it has uh, bonus cryo damage. Uh, all of this is swinging for multi different elements. Going into the skill tree. Rocking out a couple to road to rise just to move down the skill tree a little bit. One to clarity to move down. Three to personal space. The closer the target the greater the bonus, it's very very good. Arm zeal for splash damage and redu uh, reduction to splash damage taken. Really, really good for the OPQ system. Chaos and yellow cake for your damage for that. Helping hands so that you can gain a lot of damage reduction. Goes really, really well with this uh, class mod here for extra damage reduction. Uh, I have uh, three into mindfulness from my class mod and then three just by skill points. One with nature. You get some HP, you get some elemental damage resistance. It goes really well with the old god shield because you get 25% elemental damage resistance as is. And then you add on another 21% on top of that. And finally, I do Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel will just revive you instantly if you go down. It has a two minute cooldown. You don't go down very often, but this is a nice clutch at the very end. Uh, say in case you blow yourself up with explosion damage or some sort of splash damage, you can revive yourself instantly. Over to the blue tree, I don't use a lot of blue tree. I use Violent Tapestry and Do Harm just to move down the skill tree. Uh, reload speed is the most important in this skill. Weapon swap speed is also kind of nice. And the mode switch speed for the 36% is really, really nice for the recursion. I do two into Restless so I can get some action skill cooldown. And a little bit of extra reload speed into Alacrity. Finally, the red tree. The red tree is where all of your damage is going to come from, from the elemental stuff. Anima, status effect damage, status effect duration, and effect damage. Steady hands for weapon handling accuracy. Uh, one to infusion, just to move down the tree, and it also helps with the uh, soul fire, because soul fire is going to be uh, the action skill that I'm going to be using for my uh, effect damage. Uh, one to wildfire just to move down the tree a little bit more. Five to tempest, elemental damage and shock damage is further increased. Goes very very nicely with the old god because you get extra shock damage and on action skill end you get extra shock damage. Uh, dread, I gain gun damage whenever I have an enemy grasped. Deep well for mag size. 
indiscriminates for the ricochets this can happen for any gun i have even tested this on the yellow cake i have seen ricochets come from the yellow cake it is ridiculous to see happen but it happens five to sustainment so that whenever i do damage with uh elemental damage i get life steal and finally forceful expression my guns deal bonus elemental damage based on my action skill which is soul fire that's fire damage i'm using soul fire allure and ties I bind. The reason why ties I bind and allure are good together is because allure drags in the enemies with a singularity effect whenever you use ties I bind to chain to enemies. Having those two together, you can keep them locked inside the chains and inside ties I bind so that they don't leave and have a chance to break it. And now let's put this build to action. So we gotta keep in mind of one thing whenever we're doing uh, the Samara. We need to make sure that our action skills are active at all times, and by that I mean the stacks in the bottom. If you look next to my Mayhem 10, you'll see the 25 stacks there. That's what you want to pay attention to. If you see that starting to go down, you want to make sure that you always have that active. Self-applying damage to yourself is going to make sure that you're always constantly moving. And you do that by using your fake grasp because of how the driver com works. To fake grasp, all you have to do is make sure that your action skill completely misses and whiffs. That's your goal. You can throw it on the ground. You can throw it up. Whatever is more comfortable for you to make sure that you miss. Everything will be completely fine as long as you're doing that. Now after you use your action skill to whiff, as you can see my thing started to go down, and I actually hit that enemy, so I'm not going to be gaining my uh, stats right away until I get it back. That's what our action skill uh, cooldown is for. As you can see, I've slowed down as soon as those stacks go away. But in a couple seconds, we can get right back on top of that. Make sure that we're fine. Moving around, we'll do more gun damage thanks to mindfulness and uh, how the driver class mod works for us. It's starting to go down a little bit again, we'll just move that. Now you don't have to fake grasp all the time, keep that in mind. You don't always have to fake grasp. As soon as you fake grasp, you are completely and utterly safe to real grasp. To get all the enemies together. Gather them up, it allows you to chain your elemental damage to other enemies. It's nice and well. Chaos Sin is going to be the main source of damage, it's going to be the main mobber. Has the most ammo, swings for multi elements, does splash damage. It does pretty well everything that you need to, but everything in this build has a place. If you're going against things that have armor, you're not going to have a good time with the Chaos Sin. That's when you can safely switch to an OPQ system, and you'll be completely fine with that. As you can see, it just melts right through because of the shock uh, splash after effect that it has. Guardian Angel should activate, allowing me to move. That was my bad, I wasn't uh, fake grasping on time. You gotta make sure you always have to Pay attention to how fake grasp works. It's where most of your damage is going to come from. It's also where your survivability is going to come from. That's why I went down there. There's a bunch of things in your way that you don't really like. Feel free to just yellow cake delete them. This thing is swinging for multi-elements. It does more damage the more that you move. Um, it's a 300 over 90. So as long as something's fresh, this thing is going to be swinging for a ton of damage. If you do use a real grasp on something, like I said, right after you fake grasp, feel free to real grasp. You can use something like the reflux just to shred right through enemy uh, armor. And when it comes to these shotguns, the reflux, the brainstorm, or the recursion, you have to make sure and keep in mind that multi-things are chained together. You really need to have a big group of enemies together to get the most out of it. As you can see by the uh, reflux standards by itself, it doesn't really do a lot. I'm not moving a lot right now, I'm not moving a ton. 
As long as it's chained to enemies though, like a chain to this guy, a chain to the guy that died over there. It did a ton of damage. So you have to make sure that enemies are chained together. That's what a lure is for. And that's exactly what ties that binder for, so that it can chain to enemies that are nearby and uh, wreck their day. Primarily though, the Chaos Sin is going to be your saving grace. Has some nice shots on, and then whenever you're done shooting it, it's going to be doing that radiation splash damage to all enemies that are nearby. It's crazy, it's ridiculous. I think I just got an offline follow that it was very, very kind. I think that's the first that's ever happened during a live recording. Uh, we're gonna keep that in because that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, I am doing it bad, as you can see. Not moving a lot. I didn't fake grasp because I didn't have it up. One thing I could suggest, if you have a... Uh, if you have a mindfulness plus three uh, class mod that's driver, you could, in a sense, get rid of the damage reduction for action skill cooldown rate if you really wanted to. If two isn't enough into the blue tree, it does work. It totally can. That's all a preference. As you can see, there has been some times where I've needed it. Primarily, for the most part, you really don't. I notice that two is just fine. I haven't really been at risk of dying. Oh, Chaos is out of ammo. That's okay. We'll just yellow cake one shot everything. At the start of the video, you saw that Captain Tronk got completely blown up and slaughtered in that clip that we had there. Uh, this Amara can totally do one-shot uh, bosses as well. All you would really have to do is uh, make sure that you get your action skill active going so you can get all your elements through. And then the yellow cake should just be able to do the work to, uh, to one-shot everything. Now, just like every other build that we have, this build is going to be available for download if you're on PC. As always, instructions are going to be at the end of the video. Just like with our Moe's build that if you uh, haven't seen, I would highly suggest checking out. The Moe's has been a fan favorite of most, if not all. This build is also going to be av uh, available, as always. You can have the skill trees, you can have the guns, you can have the backpack, you have everything. This is your Amara. Totally up for you. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to be linking in the description a um, video on how to do download builds on PC. If you need it, it is there. Join my Discord and you'll see a section called Download Builds in which this Amara is going to be posted. Completely available for you. It takes all of 30 seconds to do. You take it, you have it, it's all yours. Remember guys, I always stream five days a week. Tuesdays to Saturdays is when I do so. We build these characters on stream. We farm for the gear on stream. Everything that you can find is uh, all going to be in the description as well. Twitch.tv slash B flattened is when uh, you can see me go live and build all these crazy ass characters. Send off stuff to uh, you guys if you need anything. It's what we always do. Always breaking the game. Next week, by the time you see this video, we're going to be working on a flak, most likely a fadeaway build. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I think that's all from me. Guys, my name is B Flattened, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, everybody.